Do a blessing for the pole, just for the the artist and for the log because it's going to be coming alive. When you first see the log, you're not really sure what you're going to put into it or how it's going to turn out. You, you start seeing the design inside the log. Once you start carving, you just see where everything's going to go and how it's placed. Uh, the blessing's just protection for the artist. Thank the creator for this beautiful gift. Thank the tree. And so we, the, we're supposed to show respect. The tree retains its spiritualness. Uh, it, just because it's knocked down, it doesn't become void of a spiritual part. Stay <laughs> 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 Artwork brings a lot of joy to people when they see it, you know. Sometimes you may not understand what it, the pole is saying or what it's doing, but you, st you still look at it and it still makes you feel happy, you know. Um, that's what I hope it's going to bring to the hospital anyway, to the patients. I'm doing the human figure, which is a welcome figure, and a wolf, but it's from a story from the Psychum legend of the messenger and uh, he had a pet wolf. They delivered messages from like community to community, but he did it by running. So he was in shape like through his whole life. And uh, one day he had to deliver a message out to Salt Spring Island. The wolf was scared to go into the water to swim across. So the human, he was on his way over to Salt Spring swimming already. And he uh, looked back and his wolf was just sitting on the beach. He was too scared to go in the water. Today, actually, there's a stone down there that looks like a wolf down on the beach, somewhere down there. So that's the story of the pole. It's just a psychum legend. The art is a type of, it's a, is also a language. And um, it has to be done according to uh, tradition. And uh, then it'll, it looks better and it, it'll just tell you, it'll say more to you. But if it's just uh, not, like not being able to speak the language very well. A lot of things were taken from our culture, lots were. The carving tradition basically was on the verge of um, being on the way out in, in Saanich. Um, it's the same thing as restoring the, the language. So uh, it's uh, that we teach the young ones so that they can teach their generations after so we can perpetuate our, our culture because the carving is uh, part of the culture, a huge part. I call totem poles and you know, monuments and I've been calling it our um, silent ambassadors. They, stay, they stand there and they tell, they greet people. And if people want to look into it just a little bit, they'll find people here somewhere, you know. Um, prior to the totem poles going up, that looked like we weren't even in existence but there's artwork oh, quite all over the place now, and it speaks for us. They're, they announce our presence, and they tell the and uh, of great events, and uh, that's what they're really for. So uh, the totem, uh, the carvings are a great part of our culture. You don't, you don't need to hear a bunch of words to appreciate what's going on with them. It's gonna put a lot of pride in, into the First Nations people to see the poles there. It's gonna show them that somebody actually cares enough to bring this project to uh, to reality. The leg comes this way down in here, and there's the hip. Holding a drum and singing, there's part of the head there, and then there's a bird on the top. Uh, will, will The beak will come on top of the forehead. Charles Elliott brought my name forward. I was very honored to be selected from our reserve. At the bottom here, I do have our pot of whales. That's in honor of the nurses. 
and our, all our families out here uh, stick together. I spent time actually walking through the hospital and listening to some of the elders that are there because they always talk about the nurses. Um, thankful that they're there to help them and do what they have to do. And then the mountain, um, the elders there, when I was just walking through the hospital, they talked about love seeing the sun come up. It really touched my heart to hear them talk how beautiful the sun comes up and then it makes everything bloom into something beautiful. And that's one thing, this is honoring them. And then we have the eagle here, what we call Yahuwah. <clears throat> um, I did this, I picked this because walking around the hospital, I, I realized like as a person who goes to the hospital when I'm injured or hurt or just a visit, but there's a lot of behind the scenes to keep the hospital going. And I have the eagle for our visionary, for all the people that are behind closed doors. Jane called me and asked me if I wanted to do Tompo, and I said, of course. I, I really enjoy it a lot, actually. It's, it's rewarding because I've been carving for, you know, a little over 40 years, and um, a lot of times you don't get to meet the people that you do stuff for. And uh, this is more rewarding because you get to see the people. It's different than most heron heads that you see on poles. You don't too often see them turn sideways, eh? Because oh, this yeah, is usually. just straight on, yeah. and we wanted to do something. Luckily, the log was big enough to um, be able to get that motion out of the, the head, eh? I've worked in the communities for about 12 years, and I'm now here at the Sandwich Peninsula Hospital um, to help advocate for all First Nations and Aboriginal people when they're here using the services at the hospital. Hopefully, having these beautiful carvings There'll, there'll be signs to all the First Nations people that come to this hospital that they're welcome and that we're wanting to understand. I think that I'm the most help to people when I can understand where they're coming from. And that means understanding what their values and beliefs are and understanding what their home environment is like and understanding what their obstacles are for receiving care. The whole project has been a relationship. Um, to work together um, and a sign for Island Health that we are respecting of the land that we're on and that, um, you know, they'll see these four poles and they'll see themselves reflected in the poles as they come in the driveway. Welcome to the area, to, to you know, where we live and these are some of the things that are here and enjoy them because we certainly enjoy them. That's why the hands are up saying thank you for, for coming, you know, we enjoy the life here. It's, well, you just look out there, you can see it. Yeah. See all the Gulf Islands and see how beautiful it is.